This is a Fox 4 News breaking news report. And breaking tonight. This is the man authorities say shot and critically wounded an independence police officer late this morning. 33 year old Cody Levi Harrison. After he wounded the young officer, another officer returned fire, killing Harrison. There's not a lot of jobs out there that when you kiss your spouse, you know, uh, good night and they go to work that you, you won't know whether or not they're going to come back. Tonight, a family, police family and community offer prayers and support for that critically wounded young independence officer. Independence police identify that officer as 22 year old Blaze Madrid Evans. He just had graduated from the police academy in July and was in the department's officer training program. I'm John Holt and I'm Christelle Bell and last update Madrid Evans was in critical condition. Now he and another officer were responding to a tip that led them to that home near East 23rd Street and Northern Boulevard around 1130 this morning. And tonight we have team coverage. Fox 4 Sheree Honeycutt has been in that neighborhood all afternoon and evening. She has more on the dead gunman, but we begin with our live coverage from Dave DeMarco, who is outside Center Point Hospital tonight. Dave. And this is where we believe Officer Blaze Madrid Evans was transported here based on the number of officers and just everyone who's seen here coming in and out of this parking lot and hospital tonight. Officers from other departments saying really everyone is just praying for that officer and his family. Authorities say 22 year old Blaze Madrid Evans and another Independence police officer responded to an Independence home late this morning on a tip, possibly about a wanted suspect, when a man inside the home came out and opened fire, critically injuring Madrid Evans. The other officer at the time of the shooting returned fire, striking the suspect. That suspect was pronounced deceased here at the scene. Officer Madrid Evans graduated from the Kansas City Regional Police Academy in July. He received his police commission, but was still in Independence Police's field training officer program. Brad Lemon, president of Kansas City's Fraternal Order Police, says officers from around the metro and independent city leaders showed up at the hospital and the local FOP to support the young officer and his family. People showing up and giving them food, and, and it's just been incredible to watch. What an, independence is an amazing community, and they should be incredibly proud of the department that they have, and it is absolutely amazing to see what their residents have, have been like and, and, what, and what their city leaders have been like today. Independence Police Chief Brad Halsey said through a news release, in the past during difficult times, our community has rallied together to support our police family. Your continued thoughts and prayers are deeply appreciated. I just want to tell our brothers and sisters in Independence, we're, you know, we're not going to forget this. We're not going to leave them. We're not going to walk away from this. We're going to be here with them every, every step of the way, no matter what they need. And Independence's mayor said her thoughts and prayers are with that officer, his family, and really the entire Independence Police Department here tonight. Now, she said that a lot of people have really everyone just reaching out to see how they might be able to support police. She hopes to have that information for them in the next couple of days.